Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about BTC Crew Sketch, the part that we left last time. We're gonna be talking about the constraints, we're gonna be talking about uh, so many things today. So let's get started. Now first thing, we are going again to part, then OK, and here. I clicked on sketch and selected the plane again to sketch and in our last video we talk about sketching part and the datum and all these things but now today we're gonna be talking about editing and then we will see like how much long this video we gonna be and according to the size of the video or the length of the video we will be covering the topics now I am recording this video as a live stream because uh, I do not have enough time for editing and uh, also I don't have enough time to you know uh, the audience is very narrow for PTG crew videos and uh, I'm I don't have any kind of support and I have to work to survive as I'm a student now so maybe uh, I will be working on this later on after I complete my graduation and I will be again happy to help you guys so maybe in future I may release the next video in a long time but let's forget all these things and focus on today's topic so today we're gonna be seeing like uh, the tools like modify mirror divide delete segment corner and rotate and resize so let's start with modify so let's take an example of the line tool so now consider the situation uh, let's let's create a two situation here uh, we try to create a rectangle and we need to change the value for example we need to make a rectangle of uh, 2000 by 5000 now if I make a modification like this now here what the problem is I need to go back and then uh, we need to perform pan zoom operation again and again and sometime it is time consuming and not the best one so uh, with the help of this modify tool what we can do is let me just show you uh, we need to click on modify and then you need to select the dimension that you want to modify for example this one and this one and this one okay now I will be simply typing the value again the same way as you can see uh, I clicked here and this bracket is highlighting like which dimension I'm going to modify so I'm gonna make it 2000 again and this one as 5000 so now we do not need to perform any kind of pan and zoom operation and we are doing it on one go so that's all uh, what it is all about and uh, another thing is lock scale option for example I'm gonna make it again 1000 and you can see all the dimensions changed according to according uh, uh, all the dimension change in the same aspect ratio so this feature is also very nice for example you want to just make 1005 then uh, for the same aspect ratio we need to calculate and which is kind of time consuming but if you simply uh, write here the value or maybe you can use these uh, virtual buttons to change the value you can do this and the sensitivity also allow you to uh, change the value very fast and very slow as you can see here 
the better option is just to put the value directly and you can modify so uh, this tool also comes handy when we need to modify so many dimensions together for example this case here so I'm gonna choose this one this one this one like this and I can simply modify it according to my convenience Seventy five, this one ninety seven. Okay, so I'm done all the dimension I have modified, so it is quite easier process than the regular one. I hope you understand this tool. Now let's just move on to the next tool. Just deleting all these things. Now the next tool is mirror tool. Now for example you have created certain shape or feature like here and you want to mirror this feature or the shape against this uh, this line and uh, distance need to be same it's a kind of symmetry you want to create a kind of symmetry or you can compare it with the regular mirror the thing uh, it also do the same just like when we saw ourselves or something in a mirror which is just kind of opposite the mirror tool also going to create the same thing now in case of PTC Creo the first thing we require is a mirror axis and you cannot use this line or a reference as an axis so we need to create a manual axis now we're gonna choose the center line now the center line or axis both are the same thing now we can select the items that we want to mirror now you can choose one by one by pressing control or you can select by left to right selection tool or right to left as you can see the difference we have already discussed when we select left to right the solid rectangle only select the thing inside it and if we uh, create a if we try to select from right to left all the entities which are touching this uh, desk not the solid line rectangle this is the desk rectangle all the entities that are touching it will got selected now let's just see this tool now uh, okay so let, let's say like I want to uh, mirror these two entities and uh, let's click on mirror now now here you can also see the message in the taskbar like they are asking us to select the center line now let's just select the center line and here we go we successfully mirror these two entities and now we also can change the value for example we have changed this value from 215 to 214 and to 200 and we can see the the entity we have created the mirror entity is also kind of dependent on this one while the parent entity is completely independent on uh, independent of this but let's just see what happened if I delete this feature or this entity now if we delete this entity this this is not going to affect the mirrored entity while if we make a change in the dimension the time the, it is uh, directly influencing the mirror entity now uh, what the thing behind that is when we delete this entity original entity we can see here the automatically the mirror part is getting the dimension now this is not dependent on the mirror entity anymore and we can simply change the value but let's just see what happened 
when we try to change this remaining entity remaining parent entity and let's just make it 220 and you can see still this entity only got auto dimension while the other entity is still dependent on on the parent now let's just try to change this value maybe we can change the parent with the help of a child and uh, we can see it uh, it a kind of parent child but it's not true parent child like in case of features okay so let's just try to change this value and yes we can see it's a dual side chain so we cannot say like if we modify some dimension here it's not going to modify here so we are seeing here the dual side dependency okay so no, it's not the single side it's a dual side dependency so uh that's pretty cool so this is the way how we can mirror also another cool thing to know about is uh, about the mirror tool is or how you can know how it work is you just form an entity and you can see until uh, unless you didn't select any entity it will remain the dis uh, remain as disabled but as soon as we select the entity the mirror tool was enabled now all we need to do is to form again a center line and then simply click on mirror which just got enabled and here we go I hope this tool is now clear to you now let's just go to the next tool which is divide now when we can use divide we can use divide to break a big line into segments we can also use divide tool to divide a circle into quadrants or there may be so many application of this divide tool for example i'm going to divide the circle into four parts so i can use divide and then later on we can you know dimension this and uh, with the help of arc length or maybe with the help of equal to we can create a kind of uh, of uh, equal segmentation with the help of dimensioning so that's the different thing let's just uh, do the let's just try to segment uh, a line again and you can see here we have equally segment these two lines and here we can see we created another segment now this is a small example and utility of the utility of this this uh, divide tool now let's just check like how long this video is okay so it's only 15 minutes so we can continue and talk about the delete segment and corner tools now delete segment is very easy tool to delete delete the entities and it is very easy to use as well just you click on it and simply uh, press the left mouse button just hold it and then try to delete and you will see as you pass your delete segment to any entity and uh, it is deleting that part so it is very easy and intuitive tool and it is one of the most commonly used tool to delete now lot of time we require to form a kind of corner uh, obviously uh, there is a separate tool 
chamfer available for the for it but a uh, lot of time we also use uh, sorry chamfer is for something else yes but uh, sometime we we need to trim certain parts and uh, we also can have open part like here and with the help of corner tool we can do it so let's take this example first so i want to create a corner here so i need to select these two two line segments and here you can see we have created a corner and uh, let's take an example of this arc as well again corner and you can see we can create a corner with the help of our arc or, or a line segment let's take an, a, another example here in this case the line segment are intersecting each other and are not open like this scenario now in this case what uh, we, we need to do is we need to select the part that we want to keep for example I want to keep these two so I will be selecting these two and the remaining part will got trimmed off similarly let's let's do it again let's say for example I'm gonna take these two parts and I will be keeping these two parts and I will be deleting these two so I will be selecting these two only and we can simply form this beautiful corner and uh, it is very handy tool sometime and save a lot of time now let's take uh, a have a look on our last tool in editing group category so uh, we need to select this this uh, the entity which we want to rotate and resize so now we have selected this entity and uh, let's click on rotate and resize now we have got so many options available here for example i want to increase uh, the scale of it let's make it 1.5 so we can do this like this and uh, for example i want to rotate this entity by 10 degrees so i can rotate this entity by 10 degree and uh, this this is the pivoting point or this is the axis of rotation okay so th this is the middle point now there are so many other options available for example i want to uh, make some changes with the help of some reference so i can take a, a help of this uh, similarly uh, i want to rotate uh, this entity with the reference of some something else so i can use this options as well and so on now this tool is also quite handy sometime and now let's just talk about the constraints I hope uh, this will not take too much time and these are pretty easy now uh, we have got two types of constraints available in Creo first one is on the go constraint or on the fly constraint we see them and uh, as you can see here we even haven't created our entity and the uh, ptc crew is offering us a constraint for example here it is offering us a horizontal constraint now if i click if i do a right click then you can see i have locked this constraint but you know sometimes it also creates a problem for us for example i want to create a line a horizontal line having an angle of 0.5 degree so uh, it will not allow me to create uh, a very you know nearby line and always will offer me some kind of constraint uh, here for example it is offering horizontal constraint and let's just take an, another example now here for example I want to create a, a, a line having a length which is very near to the first line but because of the constraint that is being offered to me as equal does not allow me to create a line uh, with the almost similar length 
but with some variation because it is offering me equal constraint now how we can avoid or how we can you know cancel this suggestion we just need to press the right click and now you can see uh, I have locked this condition but if I click again sorry uh, here we just shift it uh, as here we can see uh, the two constraints now being offered to us and uh, our uh, entity is entirely in lo uh, locked and we only have got two uh, two shapes two possible shapes now with the help of tab we can switch these these constraints and uh, I wanted to create a line which is not equal but a kind of uh, similar to the length of my first line but have some changes some uh, different parameter but is a kind of equal so I'm gonna you know I'm gonna uh, remove this lock by again right click and now you can see it is saying uh, it cannot be equal to the original line so in this way we have just ignored or avoided our line to be equal to my first line now as we can see here both are nearly same and we were able to create another line uh, which is kind of very close maybe this example is not that appropriate let's take an example of uh, of of a very uh, of, of a very less angular value let's say for example I want to create a point 2 degree or point 3 degree of angle but here I, I am not able to create maybe this example is also not very convenient uh, so let's just delete it because I just wanted to show you something as because it is offering me this horizontal condition so I can click twice and can create a very very less angle angle angled line as you can see here now we can provide some angle dimension here in between so in this way uh, we can create constraint while creating entities and these kind of constraint is known as on the fly constraint or on the go constraint now let's talk about another constraint which we can provide to our entity or them entities after we create them now first of all vertical constraint as the name says it is used to create our our entity vertically vertical any entity we can create vertical with the help of this constraint now let's just see a uh, horizontal constraint click on horizontal and then select and you can see how easy <coughs> is to create a horizontal constraint or is to apply the horizontal constraint and uh, it may be possible like for example in this case we have already cre created a horizontal constraint and uh, we 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 try to apply horizontal again or maybe vertical again no not here okay i will explain uh that kind of situation later on i, I was just trying to show you the over constraint situation but okay let's just do that later on and now uh i will show you how we can delete these constraints so we can simply select it or delete it Sometimes if you face problem of selecting these constraints, so you can anytime go here and use this filter. Now you can only select the constraint and you can 
delete them now uh, I want to show you another uh, another constraint which is perpendicular so here we form the two lines and I want to say this line is perpendicular to this one and as you can see here if I say this line is perpendicular to this again the same thing now uh, let's just uh, make it horizontal and now try to do this this line perpendicular to this and you can see now another option is to make a tangent now we can take example of a circle or an arc or a line now simply select the two entities and uh, we can easily form the tangent let's just make it coincident as well and as you can see uh, we can do the desired thing whatever we want to do and let's just try to apply multiple constraints to the entities uh, for example I want to create I want to place this entity point at the midpoint of this line segment and here we go and you have seen how simple it is and how easier it is to do let's just do now midpoint click on line again and sorry midpoint we have already explained let's just try to make a let's just try to apply one more constraint here uh, which is perpendicular now let's just try to make these two entities perpendicular and here we go and uh, let's just try to apply the third constraint here which is horizontal and now our entity is becoming over constrained so this is uh, what I wanted to show you uh, now depend on us like which and which constraint is not important to us and so we can delete that constraint let's say for example the tangent is not important for us now so I can delete that and make this horizontal and uh, same time I want to delete this constraint and again I want to make this tangent so it's pretty easy and you can see how we are playing with the constraints and forming the desired situation so uh, the now the left constraints are the symmetry equal and parallel let's just talk about them and I will be uh, ending this video after that because uh, this video is going to be too long now for symmetric uh, let's just take an example of a line okay so here because we have applied this constraint let's just make it uh, selection now let's just make this line segment and I want to say that this line segment it's symmetric about this center line so I can select the symmetric option and now here we can see the the in our taskbar it is suggesting us to select the center line and two vertices so let's just select the center line and these two vertices and here we go we have created a symmetric let's just uh, take another example of this triangle now again I'm gonna perform the same thing center line and these two vertices and you can see uh, 
this this line is symmetric let's just take another example center line on these two vertices and we can see we have created these both add symmetric which is a kind of mirror so I hope you understand this tool as well this constraint let's just delete these all and now equal and parallel are quite simple constraints for example equal I want to make these two equal so it's quite easy similarly parallel let's just make these two line parallel so in this way we can create parallel so uh, that's all guys in this video from my side I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you are a beginner this might be very helpful for you also if you are using AutoCAD so it would be very easy easier for you if you have used AutoCAD in your in, in in your past experience so thank you guys for watching this video hit like if you enjoyed it hit dislike if you dislike if you didn't enjoy this and uh, please let me uh, know about the the about this video and comment down below and uh, suggest me and uh, if you can support me then you can support me also uh, obviously I will be posting videos in future as well and uh, I had a lot of plans to make videos on a lot of topics ads now with industry 4.0 there are so many things to explore and to discuss and to share with you guys like like uh, analysis like uh, reverse engineering like behavior modeling or maybe CFD FEA dynamic analysis kinematic analysis or maybe about augmented reality and uh, how we can create a 3d AR drawing which can facilitate our supplier or the reader uh, to see the part in augmented reality mode and help him to understand the detail of a part in much more way but uh, because as I discussed with you I'm a student and uh, I am facing financial problem so I have to work part-time and uh, because the community of PTC Creo is very small and unfortunately the videos <laughs> the entertainment videos have very big community but these kind of videos uh, like like uh, engineering videos have a very small community and uh, I cannot use uh, this YouTube as a platform to earn money so this is only my help uh, kind of video because um, if I really had to earn money so I might have created uh, funny or or entertainment videos on YouTube but okay nevertheless mm, here I just wanted to help but if you like to help me in uh, my situation so you can donate uh, and support my channel to grow and this will also encourage me to post videos more frequently so that's all from my side. Thank you guys for watching this video again. And see you see in next video. And in next video we're going to be talking about the dimension and these inspect features and all. 
and uh, please do me uh, uh, let me know how you feel about it thank you and bye bye